I have on an old jacket of my mother's and this is very warm so I am out here I'm Kay I'm on my homestead in Tennessee coming up on my second year here used to be an urban gardener and now I'm a homesteader so I don't know about you but has the winter already kind of gotten you down the cold windy weather is kind of gets you down and I am trying to combat that by getting out and doing a little bit of activity before that sun goes behind the ridge. These race beds are desperate. And I mean, well, I could leave them there till spring, just as they are. But I should have cleaned these beds up a while ago. But until this last set of freezing nights, the marigold was still blooming. Now it's all dead, it looks terrible, everything's got to go. So I'm going to try to transform one raised bed right now and I hope you'll join me. These two plants that are still green, this is sorrel. Now I find it tough and lemony when I put it in my mouth. But since it's alive and it's lived all year, all last winter and all summer, I'm going to keep it and see if I can find some recipes. I'm going to move this soil around, fluff it up, add some compost, and put in the, la the few plants that I have that were intended for my fall garden.
Yeah, see, this is the hugel culture working its way up. So I can't go too deep. I need another load of compost in here is what I need, but maybe for these, you know, small winter plants, I've got enough. I've got enough soil. Last one, I've done neater, more careful plantings in my life, but sun's going down, so let's get it done or miss out.
surprised this is still alive. It's been out here all these freezing nights. Most of these other starts are eaten up by bugs or frozen or something. But I figure maybe the roots are still good. Well, folks, I'm cold and I'm going to go in and uh, thank you for joining me for that little job. I'm going to leave the marigolds out here and collect some seeds tomorrow. I've got a lot of seeds, but you can never have too many marigold seeds. You can just spread them all over, all over. So anyway, I think that helped a little helped my spirits a little bit but you know my cat patch if you've been following she's uh, decided not to live here it, apparently and she's been seen at my neighbors again where she spent that week and she knows where I am she hears me calling she knows how to get here if she wants to come here she'll come back she may just need her own space you know but you'd think she'd want a nice big meal for supper. And I don't think anybody's feeding her, so I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for being a part of my channel. And if you're interested in uh, trying to build a sustainable homestead at an older age like I'm doing, I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, and, and, and hopefully I can help you keep from making a few mistakes that I've made. So thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.